get moved out the way. Like, what the type of bullshit is that? Who the f strikes watching and run at him? We had to step on the money, them niggas want extra. You know I had went and got extra. I am the muscle, I like to flex the money. You know I could cover, no question. Ain't no discussion. He make a move, we gon' bust him. Fuck if I'm cool with his cousin. I'm never ducking. Nigga, that had 50 boys, the only motherfuckers I'm ducking. We had to step on the money, them niggas want extra. You know I had went and got extra. I am the muscle, I like to flex the money. You know I could cover, no question. Ain't no discussion. He make a move, we gon' bust him. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the 50 yard line. Here with us today, we have former Sharks receiver Mike Cutler. Mike Cutler left this program as the career receiving yards leader, as well as the career leader in receptions here for Hawaii Tech. Mike Cutler was a part of the inaugural team here at Hawaii Tech. With that team came very little expectations, and Mike Cutler exceeded every single one of them. He was a part of the good times, he was a part of the bad times. He even helped lead us to a bowl win. His contribution here at Hawaii Tech will never be forgotten. From day one, no matter who we brought on the squad, Mike continued to find his way out there on the field, even if on paper, players were better than him. Mike is the epitome of hard work, perseverance, efficiency, and effectiveness. And with that, he will be the first player in Hawaii Tech Sharks history to have his number 88 retired here in front of you guys today. No player will ever be allowed to wear number 88 here ever again. Now you guys show him some Sharks pride and make some noise. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hawaii Tech Sharks Dynasty here, Season 5. Can you believe that we're in the fifth season already? Man, we're approaching 50 episodes as well. Usually when I have this many episodes in a series, it's just about to come to an end. But this series is nowhere near over, guys. It's just getting started. You see down here, time for kickoff. Hawaii Tech players can't wait for their season opener against Vandy. We are on the road. You know what I mean? Kirk's running with us. We're a C plus, B minus C. They're B, B, B plus. You know what I mean? Uh, nobody has any leaders. Nobody's played any games or anything like that. But we got a couple new faces that I want to introduce you guys to. So first, we have two new QBs. We got Damian Winter, 6'5", 235 out of Colorado. Then we have Malcolm Tyree from El Toro, California. These two are going to be coming up after Ty Robinson. But you never know. If we get another winning season this year, become a five-star prestige school, we can officially recruit four stars, and then maybe a four-star will come in and take over for uh, Ty Robinson after next season. At running back, we got Stunner Kelly, Chance Gunther, and Carnage Clark. Carnage Clark and Gunther, Chance Gunther will both be redshirting this year. Stunner Kelly will be getting uh, some playing time with Antonio Smith and Jacob Madley. At tight end, I'm going to introduce you guys to Ethan Styles. He is a, a junior uh, Juco guy. But, you know what I'm saying, he will be redshirting because, uh, you know, Kevon King is a senior this year. We need somebody that's going to come, uh, you know what I mean, take the reins once he's gone. At left tackle, we got Caleb Bear. At left guard, we got Junior Evans. At center, we got, nope. At right guard, we got, nope. At left end, we got Colin Neeson. Um, you know what I'm saying, uh, ju another Juco Junior guy will be redshirting. Same, same overall as Juan Gomez, but, you know, Juan Gomez has earned his keep here on this squad to be able to stay as a starter. At right end, we got Nick Bohr. At right end, we got 6'1", 284, uh, Nick Bohr. At left outside linebacker, we have Matthew Cromer and Marcus Marshall. At middle linebacker, we have Ace Smith, another Juco guy. At right outside linebacker, we have Lewis Samoa. And then we also have Olin Edwards. So at cornerback, we got two new guys here. They're both going to be red shirt. And we got Nate Mayfield. And then we also have Angelo Limpuma. At free safety, we have Alan Ray and Carlton Arias. And then at strong safety, last but not least, we have Tavares Tate. And then last but not least, at kicker, we have Jock, Jock Grande. You know what I mean? Uh, going to be starting day one. 67 overall. Uh, doesn't have the craziest arm uh, leg strength. Only 68 kick power, 67 accuracy. But hopefully that can at least be in the 80s by the time he leaves here. So for the first time in a long time, we're facing a team where, you know what I mean, the overall offense and defensive meters aren't, you know, going crazy off the scale. Because, you know what I mean, we're slowly but surely becoming – a team and a force to be reckoned with. We were ranked as far as high as 13th last, last year, man. So, um, you know what I mean? Definitely eager to see what we're going to do this season. 
new playbooks. So uh, don't really know uh, what, what we're going to bring to the table, but I think we can get the job done. All right, boys, we got a beautiful day here in Nashville, Tennessee. Familiar place, man. You know, you, we've won a few national championships with Vandy. Uh, they got a new coach. Jay Cutler has since moved on. And we got to prove to them, man, that, uh, you know what I mean, last season wasn't no fluke. You see the tell of the tape. We're not worried about all that, man. Let's get it. All right, boys, so we are getting the, uh, the ball here. We lost the coin toss. Uh, we're not going to return that. We're not even going to start off, you know what I mean, with that bad negative juju. Trey Warfield coming out, man. This is his senior season. One of the best guys on the team. What can he do for us? I think one thing we need to come out remembering, you know, Trey Warfield doesn't have the strongest of arms. We try to make a lot of strong arm quarterback throws, and that's what gets us in trouble. But you know what I mean? It's just the way he competes. And already he goes to Jason Harris over the middle, who we looked, we we, we, we expect him to have an amazing senior season here, man. He's the best player on the team, and he's finally getting his shot. All right, second and seven here. We got a positive run yard. I mean, run play, man. You know what I mean? That's, that's a plus. Boom, going to Jason Harris over the middle. He gives us another first down, baby. Let's go. Near interception there. We definitely don't want to start off the season like that. Boom, get them to to toes down. Good catch by Isaac Johnson. Shuff Johnson doing his thing. He's been he's been a ball since we brought him here, to, you know, since day one. All right, boys, third and nine. Our first uh, real threat of not converting a first down here on this uh, drive. Man, I wish I could hop route. I see, I see an opening. Boom, get there, Spratly. Ooh, overthrown and... What a play, actually, by the DB, man. So we got a 51-yarder. You know what I'm saying? We already know our kicker does not have the leg power for this. But um, I don't I don't see what, what good can come out of us punting. So, you know what I mean? We're going for it. little play action. Oh, Isaac Johnson was open, too. I just couldn't get it to him. Trey Warfield picking it up with his legs, baby. Let's go. All right, here we go. Boom. One of our, one of our new faces, Green, making his first catch. Ricky Green. His first reception, you know what I'm saying, of his career here at Hawaii Tech, and it goes for 20 yards. All right, guys, first and goal. We got four chances to get it in here because I know we don't kick field goals on the goal line. Uh, Jacob Malley picks up one. I think I plan on doing it in the future, but I haven't done it for this first game. I'm going to mess with the uh, formation subs so I can get all three running backs in, but I want to see how Malley does as the featured back in game one against an SEC opponent. Boom. Ah, thrown behind him. The the pressure was in our face. We just had to get rid of it, though. Our fault, Shuff. You know what I mean? I mean, oh, that was Spratly, actually. Spratly usually makes the tough catches, man, but, hey, somebody was in our face quick. Oh, yeah, no. we got you. Oh, whoa. How did he get back to the ball? Wow. That First of all, that throw was supposed to be to the back of the end zone. But, man, my number 41 made a great play. Oh, man. I mean, he, he had his eyes on the QB the whole time, man. So he was definitely in the zone, and I thought he was on man or Kevon King. That was just a bad throw from Spratly, dog. If he throws that to the pylon like he's supposed to, that's a touchdown. Like, look at look, Isaac Johnson has to come back to the ball. Man, that's just not a good throw. That should have been six. All right, boys. So first drive, uh, you know, a little well, it didn't necessarily go how we wanted it to go. You know what I'm saying? We don't much rather come away with three points there, but it is what it is. They they keep the ball on the ground first play, and of course we you know breaking a bunch of tackles already. You know what time it is. All right, we're going, we're going to try to blitz and play a lot of man here early on in this game. That boss hand it off. Got to make that tackle, Paisley. LSR comes down to, to finish the job, and we get a TFL. All right, third and two here, guys. Bowers in the game. Doesn't have his impact star, though. And, of course, we get beat over the middle, Uriah Rice. All right, we got a second and ten here. They might try to keep it on the ground. No, they actually go to the air. Make a tackle. All right, good tackle there by Bauer. All right, boys, here we go. Third and four, man. No screen like I thought it might be. And <sighs> Jay Coco getting bodied over there by that simple route. Man. All right, we're a man again. I don't really know why I'm doing this to myself, but okay. Oh, my goodness. Smith misses the tackle. All right, boys. Can we get a stop, man? Holding them to three would be huge here. Straw play. Knew it was coming. Let's go, fellas. All right. Third and five. Oh, I didn't mean to lock on with Bauer. Did we get the sack? Oh, my gosh, of course we don't. I mean, it didn't really matter since I can't click off. Oh, third downs, man. That's, that's our Achilles heel. We do not get stops on third downs. It's a draw play. And you guys just... Oh, my goodness. Just fucking moved out the way. Like, what the fuck type of bull is that? Who the fuck strikes watching a nigga run at him? All right, boys, so we're down 7-3 here. Here we go. Come back. Yes, sir, Spratly. Make somebody miss after. All right, good catch. Cut it up, cut it up, cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. Or just... Sit there, like move, man. Team here, man. After that bad sack, put us in a bad spot. Oh, he has a step. 
Can he get it out there? He does. Alex Kuntz, another one of our young receivers, making a big-time catch. 63-yard reception, baby. Welcome to the show. His first career catch goes for 63 yards. It doesn't get better than that. We got to put six on the board here, man. All right, second, second and goal here, guys. No. Woo! We go to Jason Harris. He just can't get into the end zone. All right, third and goal here. Let's, let's see if we can punch it in. Big boys up front. They just got beat immediately, man. Immediately. This line still just has so far to go. Second and six here. Everything's locked up. How does he get out of that sack, man? Ah, oh my gosh. We got great pressure with three people, man, but he just, of course. All right, so they're three for three on third down conversions here today, man. Don't really like this call by Tyler Hawkins, but it is what it is. It's a run play. And okay, good tackle. I'm not sure who that was that made that tackle. It looks like Braden Corn. Let's go. All right, 56, uh, 56 uh, seconds left here. Got to be able to make that throw. Make that block. Keep on King. Block him, bro. Come on, bro. All right. 28 sec 27 seconds left here. I don't really like the clock management, but okay. Boom. We go to Spratly over the middle. Now we can use our first time out. There we go. All right, here we go. 20 seconds left here. Boom. We go to Irby. Josh Irby with a big catch. We'll go ahead and take our time out. All right, first and goal. Oh, man. We have not been able to score this close to the end zone all game long. Boom, we hand it off to Madley, and this time we punch it in for our first touchdown of the game, baby. Let's go. We're going for two because I want to go up a full touchdown. All right, boys, here we go. Let's get it. Gotcha. Hold on to it, Shelf. There we go. And we are up seven points, baby. That's how you end the half, man. All right, boys, heading into the locker room up seven. Vandy gets the ball to start up the second half, but if we can keep up this intensity, man, I think we got, we got this. Changing some things up. Oh, we get the sack. Cover sack, baby. Beautiful. Way to lock everything up there, fellas. Juan Gomez with his first one of the season, man. Let's go. Third and 17, boys. Empty backfield set once again. Can we be smart here? Can we not get beat, man? I knew they were going to go underneath. Bauer misses the tackle, but LSR does not. Fourth and five, baby. That's how you start off a quarter, man. All right. They're, they're walking the safety down. We're going to run the same play anyway. Boom. Let's go, Spratly. Breaking tackles. That a boy. I like that play, man. Whenever it pops up, I might call it pretty often. All right, second and three here. Hand off to Madley. Decent blocking. He pushes his way forward, picks up the first. All right, we go first and ten again. Boom. Oh, yeah, we got beautiful blocking here on the screen. Spratly doing what he does, man. Let's go. 17-yard pickup. Let's go, fellas. All right, here we go. Inside the red zone. Oh, I definitely didn't. I was trying to throw that, but he went over the, the line of scrimmage. It works out, though. All right, little, little Wildcat here. We hand the ball off to the true freshman, Stunner Kelly. He's looking again in the end zone. He stops short. He does pick up two yards, though. All right, we're uh, here in uh, Wildcat formation. Third and one. It's a blast play for Madley. He gets into the end zone, baby. His second touchdown of the day. Madley being the man is working out in our favor, man. I'm loving it, dog. Let's go. All right, first and ten, baby. So draw play. Oh, way to trip him up, Juan. Let's go. All right, second and 11 here. No, oh, we almost jump off sides. So another run into Hutchie. in the backfield again. It's not a TFL. He does get, get two out of it, but, hey, that's his fifth tackle of the game. I want the Hutchie to, re to repeat as the best linebacker. I want Favell to repeat as the, you know what I'm saying, the best, uh, the best returner. Oh, we get a sack. Cover sack, locking everything up, man. Who was that, Juan Gomez again? It doesn't matter. Get them fours up, man. Yes, it was Juan Gomez, but get them fours up, man. Heading into the uh, to the fourth, we're getting the rock back, and the team is looking good. Seeing you a little late, Shuff, but hey, trucking people. Okay, way to lower the shoulder. Oh, there we go. Boom, oh, good block in there. Good block in there. Let's go, man. I see you, Irby. Check out Irby getting open here often in this game, man. All right, second and 11. Here we go. Ah, flush out the pocket. Check out Warfield picking up picking up big yards with his legs and not turning the ball over. Let's go. All right. All right, we got Shuff in motion again. But it's a handoff to Madley, and we getting zero blocking. I'm going for it, man. I'm not taking this three. We're up two scores. All right, here we go. 
Hand off to Madley. Boom. Cut it up. Can he get in his own again? He's tripped up. All right, first and goal. Four chances to get it in. We actually can run the ball a lot more down here now. I'm liking that. Oh, Stunner Kelly. You know what I mean? I mean, that wasn't his fault. You met in the backfield as soon as you get the rock. What are you going to do? As soon as I bigged up our offense. All right, second and goal, fellas. Oh, Spratly makes the catch. Just nowhere to go. Vandy calls his first time out, but third and goal. You know what I mean? I mean, we were going to run the rest of the clock out. There's no secret there. But I want to I wanna put this game away forever. Boom! Jason Harris with a touchdown. Let's go, baby. Hey, man. Trey Warfield has played a hell of a game. 20 for 28, 271 yards. You know what I mean? He extends his touchdowns. He's three touchdowns away from 100 on his career. All right, 202 left. First and 10 here for Vandy. Oh, they finally run the screen. Ah, I tried to get to Rebauer. He got pancaked. But good tackle out there by Juan Gomez, man. That dude's all over today. Melvin Jones, 7 for 8 for Vandy. They haven't done anything, really. Like, we've really shut these dudes down. It's actually beautiful. Oh, get there and make a tackle. All right. All right, third and two here. Oh, I knew he was going to go there. Come on, Paisley. You've seen him. First and ten here. Oh, OJ oh, Coco. Let's go. With the pick to seal the deal. Let's get it, man. He was actually all over that route the entire time. The cutback cheese didn't get him or nothing. All right, boys. So we get the W here on the road in convincing fashion. You know what I'm saying? Vandy scored the first touchdown. We shut him down after that. Trey Warfield, 21 for 30. 277 yards, a touchdown, no picks, 21 yards on the ground, man. So take a look at the scoring summary, man. We shut, we blanked them in the, in the third, I mean the first. Beat them 11-7 in the second, and then we shut them out for the rest of the game. So we shut them out for three quarters while scoring in every quarter, man. And you got it. You love to see it, dog. Trey Warfield, we already went over his stats. 70% completion percentage, man. The biggest, the biggest stat of the day. No picks for our boy. On the ground, <clears throat> on the ground, Madley 12 for 34. Only three yards to carry, but two touchdowns. Trey had 21. Stunner Kelly had a negative one carry, and Antonio Smith had eight. Through the air, Joseph Spratley, six for 84. Jason Harris, five for 39 in the touchdown. Uh, Shuff Johnson, four for 34. Irby, two for 27. King, two for 10. Kuntz, one for 63. Green, one for 20. So our two freshmen, and their first chance to come out here and make plays, you know what I mean? Uh, they go for big gains on both catches. No touchy to Hutchie leaves us in tackles with five all solo, followed by LSR with four all solo. Three tackles for loss for Gomez with two sacks. Um, you know what I mean? Those are two sacks we had. We ended up getting a one pick by Jay Coco. And all in all, just a, just a dominant performance for our boys here on opening, on, uh, you know what I mean? It's opening night. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Letting you go, I was just letting you know I know the weather is cold, but you on your own I ain't no regular Joe, you should've left me alone I'm in the zone, I'm where the predators roam We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne This ain't no regular poem, this ain't that regular tone, no Do you follow me, baby?